Good evening, Julio Cesar. Good evening, teacher. Thank you for joining. We are going to get started in seven minutes, okay? Thank you for being here early. Good evening, Carlos Ernesto. Good evening, Freddy. Thank you for joining. Good evening, Freddy Celiceo. Yeah, you're going to be a listener today. Mm, okay. Hello, Carlos. Are you having problems with your connectivity? Carlos, do you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Yes, good evening. Okay. Good evening. Welcome. But I saw you that you logged Thank out you. and then you came back. Are you having problems with your internet connectivity? No, teacher. Ah, okay, great, perfect.
Hello, class. Welcome. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, it's time to get started. I am so glad that the three of you are very responsible on time here. And I'm going to get started by showing my PPT for today, okay? So today class, remember, is our class number nine. By tomorrow, I need you to complete section number two. Is that okay? Unit number, number two, yeah? Okay, hold it. Okay, so here we go. Miguel Angel, welcome. Good evening. And here class, okay, let's see. Here we go. Great. Okay, today is March 20th, yeah, 2023. If I am wrong, feel free to, to correct something, okay? Because you know, we are human beings and we are we are supposed to make mistakes and but but also we are supposed to correct them okay so here we go today is as i told you before the uh, our video conference number nine and here we have our agenda for our video conference number nine the first activity as every single day guys is to greet you okay to say hello welcome to this new week and tomorrow we're going to be finishing section two. So I need you to finish section two in the platform, one and two. Some of you are still owing me some exercises in week number one. Good morning. Good evening, Evelyn. I'm crazy. <laughs> Welcome, because you're very early today. That's why I said good morning. Okay, but it actually it is good, e good evening. And I need uh, to notice if you were paying attention. Yeah. So uh, we're going to have a little feedback on what we did the last class because it was last Friday. And the, we had uh, two days with no classes, without classes. Uh, one of you is going to help me reading the objectives. Uh, the pre-task is to activate previous learning by experience uh, by defining what a small talk is. Today, we're going to be talking about a small talk. And the preparation task is to use active listening. I'm going to share a link with you and you are going to listen individually. Okay, some small talks and later I'm going to ask you some questions about it. And the task is to socialize using a small talk topic. So you're going to create small talks in class. And here we have our objectives. So I need one volunteer to help me reading the objectives. The specific objective and the class objective, my volunteer is, who is my volunteer? Hello? Only one? Don't be shy. Okay. okay, thank you so much, Carlos. Please mm -hmm. go ahead. A specific objectives. Mm -hmm. The student will be able to engage in a small talk using a variety of topics using socializing vocabulary. Class objective. The class will be able to engage in a small talk using a variety of topics using socializing vocabulary. Excellent. Great. So as I told you in the agenda, we're going to be defining what a small talk is and you are going to be creating a small talks, but also you are going to be listening to some small talks individually. So as Carlos said, you as a students people, will be able to engage, to engage in a small talk by using variety of topics, using socializing vocabulary, right? And here, thank you so much, Carlos. A reminder again, class, about homeworks and evaluation. I cordially invite you to 
complete section number two and to submit the meter test, midterm test. Actually, I'm going to check out, let me see over here. I'm going to, okay. I'm going to double check and I'm going to let you know exactly, okay, how this is. Okay, I have uh, Andrea Lisbeth, she's over 100% with homework one and two, but she has to take the uh, midterm test. She's showing me the midterm test. Carlos Ernesto, congrats, because you are over 100% in homework one, homework two, and also you have completed the midterm test. Very well. Elizabeth, Johanna, are you here? She needs to complete uh, homework two, but homework one is over and to take the midterm test. Evelyn, congrats. Also, you are over with homework one, 100%, homework two, and the midterm test is over. Congratulations. Then we have Freddy's. You have to go over homework unit one, homework unit two, and the midterm test. Herman Alejandro Castillo. Hazel, excellent. Also, you, oh, Hazel, you are over. Hazel, are you here? You already finished, Hazel, homework. Hi. One, two, hey, three. And uh, let me see. Ah, you are still owing me a little bit of homework number four, but you got 100% in the midterm test. And also you have taken the final test. Excellent. Okay, thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Thank you. Julio Cesar, congrats because you are over homeworks in section one, section two, section three, and you have begun with unit four. Excellent. And you have completed the test in week number two. The midterm test is over for Julio Cesar. Also for Catherine, she is over with the homeworks in section one, two, and she hasn't finished the midterm test, but she has begun, okay? Uh, Maria Isabel, you are over with section number one, two, and also you have finished the midterm test. Congratulations. Maria Leticia, are you here, Leti? Leti, if you are here or not, or if you're going to watch the class uh, in YouTube later. Okay, you are over with. Oh, wow, excellent. With section, <laughs> excellent, Leti. With a section number two, a section number one, and also with the midterm test. Excellent. And Marvin, are you here, Marvin? Marvin. Mervyn is over with uh, section one and he needs to finish section two by tomorrow at midnight, okay? 80%. And he didn't finish the midterm test because he has the 75%, but it's uh, a good job. Matthew, are here, Mateo? Mateo. Okay, is his absent. Miguel Angel. Congrats, because you are over with the homeworks in section one, section two, and also with the midterm. Great, I'm going to update your grades today, tonight after the one-on-one -on -one section with one of my victims, okay? Natalie, are you here, Natalie? No, Natalie. Okay, Natalie needs to continue working in section one, section two, and in the midterm test. Rafa? Rafael. Here, teacher. Section Here, number teacher. one, 100%. Congratulations. But in section number two, you need to keep on working, okay? Because you have 44%, yeah. and you need to take the midterm test. Rudy, are you here, Rudy? Rudy. 
Yes, teacher. Okay, congratulations because you are over section one and section two in the test. But you need to, if they, I mean in the homeworks, but in the test, I need you to complete it, okay? Because uh, you need to finish it. Very okay. good. Congrats. And let's see the other list. Virginia, are you here, Virginia? Virginia? Present teacher. Okay, great. Virginia, congratulations because section one is over. But I need you to finish section two because you need to finish a little bit, okay? Maybe a homework five for uh, homework two for week number two, section two. And you need to finish also the midterm because you didn't finish it, okay? And Wilbur, are you here, Wilbur? Yes, teacher, I am. Okay, congrats, yes. Wilbur, because you are excellent. With your homework in week number one and section number two also, finish 100%. And the midterm test also is over on your side. So you have 100%. And Wendy is not here, okay? So this is what I have to tell you about the reminder for Homeworks and evaluations, yeah? Here, the reminder, because we are about to finish tomorrow class, we're going to finish the 50%. On Wednesday, we're going to start unit three, which means the other 50%, and then we go like this in this level, because in two more weeks after vacations, because we're going to finish on... On April the, the 11th, yeah? Then you prepare your papers in order to take your module number four, okay? So congratulations, but remember that also your connectivity is valuable, yeah? You need to be connected, okay? And here also a reminder about the requirements. Your full name, when you get connected to the platform, in the case that you are just a listener by any case, you write, Listener, camera on, minimize the sound as much as possible unless you are told not to do so. In active participation as you always do. And here again, also a reminder for your attendance. 100% is the expectation, yeah? 100 minutes, the expectation too of your effective attendance in every day class that we have been meeting and you are going to be meeting with me. The attendance is taken again twice, at least at 8.20 and 9.40, but sometimes it may take a, a little bit longer. And here we have this bullet that your attendance is going to be valid when we listen your voice saying, presente, here I am, present or here. And also at the end, it is established by Insaforpan, the administration, that, that after the class, after, not before. I don't decide that. You don't decide it either. It is written, okay? And we need to stick to the instructions. The one-on-one uh, one -on -one session are available. Each of you will be assigned 10 minutes at the end of the class, okay, to clarify any doubts, to practice writing, grammar, or pronunciation. And I'm so sorry, but permissions are not available. I don't have the authorizations that you will know. And here also a reminder, okay, this is the expectation. The microphone must be mute. I told you, unless you are told not to do so, the camera on, the chats are available, the breakout rooms are available in Zoom, the bottom for asking for help also available, and I don't have to say that, but I'm going to respect above all, okay? And here, again, tomorrow, March 21st, all of you need to have submitted the midterm test and sections one and two, okay? So you don't get any uh, homework behind. You don't leave any homework behind. Okay, and here, let's go over the feedback. If you remember class, we had the last day we were meeting here 
uh, speaking time and you were also asking and answering question. this question. What is networking? Are you good at networking in business events? Do you often share business cards when you network? And some of you were saying class that you don't attend this kind of events such as seminars or other trainings, yeah? Because of the nature of your job. But over here, we have this speaking time, okay? What small talk? Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? And why? Why do you consider that you are maybe a good conversationalist or not? You're not. Okay, so I'm going to share this with you via WhatsApp. So you can have it as a reference and then you're going to be transferred to the breakout room, so you discuss them, okay? And one more thing, class, I um, sent you, okay, a link in order to practice the past tense of the verbs. And remember that in there, you need to drag, okay? You need to drag your answer as the pencil is showing you, okay? You don't have to drop it. You drop it until you get to your objective, yeah, in the matching. And then you click on finish. You take, uh, ah, you're going to have two windows open, but you're going to click on the one that says check my answers or ver mis respuestas. Automatically, you're going to get your grade. You take a screenshot of your grade and you share it with me via WhatsApp. Why only the, the average? Because if you take a screenshot of the complete uh, exercise, you're going to share your answers with the class. And the idea is that all of you have the same chance to practice the verbs, okay? Okay, so here we go. It is almost the time, but I think I'm going to take the attendance right now. Andrea Lisset, Lisbeth, Andrea. Oh, oh, excellent, you're here. We were missing you, Miss. Friday. Carlos Ernesto, here. Present, teacher. Excellent. Uh, Elizabeth Johanna. Elizabeth Johanna is not here. No, so sad. She's absent. Evelyn Jamilet. Present. Okay, Flor, Flor Morena. Present teacher. Okay, Flor Morena, are you in the learning platform? Usted ya está en la plataforma de aprendizaje, Flor. Ya se unió para hacer los homeworks. Veamos acá, let me see. Sí, sí, ya este, ya los, ya los vi. Solo que no los he podido empezar. He tenido unos inconvenientes. Yo expliqué. Ah, ok. Yeah, but you are here. Ajá, no, ya. Ok. No, because I have uh, two, two people with the, with the same uh, name at the beginning, ok. Because I have Flor Mestizo and you, Flor Morena. So that's why, uh, ok. But that's great. So try to uh, start working, ok. Step by step so you don't get a lot of work at the end. And let's continue then. Thank you, Fredis. Um, okay, you are as listener today. Hazel. Here. Thank you, Julio Cesar. Present. Oh, great, excellent. Catherine. Present. Thank you, Catherine. Maria Isabel. Only a listener, she said. But is she here? No, she's not, right? Not yet. Um, Maria Leticia, she's here. Yes. Marvin? A yes. listener, Marvin. Mateo? Matthew? Mateo? Absent at the moment. Maybe later. Miguel Angel? Thank you. Natalie, Natalia. 
Natalia Isab, siéntate un momento. Rafael. Outer space, ok. Very, okay. Close, Impressive very teacher, close to the moon and to the planets. Ok. Yes. Rudy. Present. Ok. En el chat está Natalia. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah, I'm checking right now. Ok, she's a listener. Thank you, Miss, for telling me. Virginia. Virginia, where are you? Present, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh. how was the party? Excellent. Virginia, ¿cómo estuvo la fiesta? ¿Ganó algo? A refrigerator, at least. No, nada. Oh, no, really, oh, so sad for you, Miss. Okay. But you had a good time, okay? Uh, Wendy is absent and Wilbur is here. Okay. Present teacher. Yeah. Okay, very well. So, um, I have shared with you guys three questions, but you need to uh, analyze and give your opinion, your point of view on these questions. In your opinion, or what do you think a small talk is? What is it about, okay? You discuss the three questions that I have shared with you in the breakout rooms. You have five minutes to do it, later we come back, why? Because you have, you're going to have a, a listening practice. The listening practice is going to be individual because you're going to click on the link and then we're going to discuss, okay? So here we go, let's get ready. And even if you are a listener, I cordially invite you to join to the breakout rooms because if you don't do it, if you stay here, you don't get those minutes, okay? Because the platform, is going to tell me mm, he or she is not here. We, let me see. Let's verify. Okay, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three. Okay, in each group there's a listener. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Join please and discuss the questions about the small talk and if you are a good conversationalist or not. Okay, go to your groups. Join your groups. Natalie, go to your group. Elizabeth Johanna, please. Natalie, go to your groups, my dear. Excellent. Hola, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Hola. Vamos a ver qué tenemos que hacer. What is small talk? Oh. Okay, class, listen. In this team, you are Evelyn, Virginia, Catherine, Andrea, Elizabeth, and Miss Hazel, okay? Yes. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Vamos. Ah, pues, este, primero hay que... Poner el significado que es una pequeña charla. Okay. In your opinion, okay? Everyone gives the opinion. What de is the small talk? Yeah. In your opinion, what is the concept that comes up to your mind when you listen to the expression small talk? What is a small talk for you? Yeah. Okay. 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 Between. Between. Between two and two three and more person. Uh, no, three. no, 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 no. More people. More people. Personas. Ajá. Uh -huh. People. Sería y it's a conversation between two people for a short time. 
Okay. It's, for it's example, acceptable. Yes, it's a good opinion. It's a good point of view. Very well. Okay. Si gusta les comparto acá lo que acabamos cinco. En la, en la 25 están no. las, si se puede ver en la que dice unidad 2, let's start, social, socializing. Y ahí está, número 1 dice, what's a small talk? Y número 2, do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Why? Okay. Eh, In the sentence of once, uh, for me, it's uh, an informal, polite conversation. How about you, Rafael? In the number one. Yes, it is. You are uh, at the... or explain the, the first sentence. Is your company now? Okay. Pero sería la, la segunda pregunta es que si nosotros consideramos o es acerca del cuadro. Perdón que ahí sí me disculpa que hoy ando ¿Consideras mal. cuál cuadro? Eh, no, de no. Solo, solo, van a, solo van a discutir las tres preguntas. Ok, teacher. Sorry, sorry. Don't run, please, otherwise you get confused. Ok. <laughs> okay. Don't get so it. Teacher, it is because but, it is Monday the... today. You want it, to run. Yeah. Ok. It's Monday. Sorry, teacher. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Hola, hola. Ok. Teacher, and the, and the answer the sentence one uh, could be an, an informal conversation. Mm, let's the, see which one. Which one? For example. A, a, the, your definition the, for a small, small talk. talk. Uh -huh. It is a? Yes. And Tell a, me your, your definition. An, an informal uh, an informal conversation? Mm, it could be, it could be, because remember you are giving your opinion. So it could be in a sort kind of, yeah, it could be, yeah. But remember that each of you needs to give your opinion. For example, Rafael needs to give his definition about, for him, what is a small talk? Flor Morena is going to say, in her opinion, a small talk is blah, blah. And you have told me that for you, small talk is a, an informal a conversation. Yes, short conversation. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so okay. that's okay. Mm -hmm. And then you go over the second one. Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? And you say, yes, I think so. But why? You give the reasons. At least one reason why. Okay. Uh, because I, I, I like to uh, investigate topics. Uh, uh -huh. Asking a, a conversation with people with a lot of topics and a technical topics sometimes. Okay, it could be. I remember oh, that this is your oh, opinion. So uh -huh. it is your opinion. We accept it because it is your opinion. Yeah. Okay. Because I talk okay. of every every topic. Mm. Uh -huh. every because topic you have of, a, a, a lot of topics in order a lot of to topics. talk uh -huh. with many people. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you, you feel uh, nice breaking the ice and talking to new people. Yeah. You are not Just, a shy person. Okay. Okay, that's good. Teacher in the in the bus in the bus station. Uh, sometimes uh, we need to speak or talk about with the something with the, with people, with the, with the strangers. And uh, for yeah, example, with the strangers. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example. Yes, that's it. Or when I I, uh, I got at a new job and I need to relation with the new co To socialize, and, uh, to socialize with the new people, yeah? Yeah, for example, in the first day and the, in the, in the first lunch with the co-worker and then <laughs> yeah. I, I need to break, break ice. That's it. And you need okay. a topic to talk about, yeah? Yeah. But yeah. topics that are not uh, sensible to them, yeah? Or the taboo topics. Because remember yeah, that yeah. sports, religion, and politics, uh-uh. That is yeah, not because so you get in troubles. Yeah, you get in troubles. Yeah, very complicated. Okay, yeah, very yeah. well. Okay, so you got it. Continue. Ah, but let Flor Morena to give her opinion, okay? See you. Okay, teacher. See you, teacher. Okay, bye. Entonces, eh, es responderlas. Y, de, y en la, o sea, yo me quedé hasta donde dice about simple things, pero por ejemplo, se puede mencionar lo que les decía, que, que colocarle ahí como your location or talking about the climate, ese tipo de cosas, hacer como referencia a eso en lo, en el, en lo que estamos detallando. Deportes. Hobbies, esas, esas cosas. ¿Y por qué están hablando de eso? Eh, como para, o sea, entiendo que lo que estamos haciendo es describir que es una pequeña conversación. Your concept, everyone needs to say his or her opinion about what a small talk is. Exacto. But you give your opinion, Evelyn gives her opinion. Andrea gives her opinion, and Virginia, everyone gives his or her opinion. And later, you need, you just need to answer. Do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? Yes or no. And you say the reason why you consider that you are a good conversationalist or you are not. But you don't need to go over other topics. Mm -hmm. You need to stick to the question. That's it. Yes. Okay, you have two more minutes. Okay, thank you. Okay, my pleasure. Ten la última. Ah, pues podría ser, ¿vale? por ejemplo, en el caso de la tercera, en el caso suyo. Uh -huh. ¿sí? Porque me gusta charlar con personas mayores para saber sobre la vida en la que han recorrido. <laughs> Curiosidad. <laughs> Only with all peop older people, not with young people. <laughs> I like know a... you are like, you are like uh, stigmatizing her. Yeah. Because <laughs> you, 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 may have, uh, but you may have a small talk with the people uh, from different ages, not only uh, people, okay? Because you can talk also with the children. Yes. Yes, hey, pero dice example. que a mí a veces sí me entra esa curiosidad porque ellos a veces cuentan unas historias que yo no las sé, entonces me gusta escuchar a veces a ti. <risa> elderly, elderly people. Eh, sí, de las personas mayores. mayores. Sí, ah, pero ah, también bien. jóvenes tienen historias que contar que las otras personas mayores o un poquito más grandes uh, nunca vivieron. <risa> Por las ah. diferentes épocas y la tecnología y todo lo demás, correct? Ok, bueno, si no hay para ver. No, but, no, but that's ok, that's ok. But that is a good point, you know why? Because a, a little boy or a little girl who is probably a teen, 12 years old, 13 or 14, um, you are to them old people. Usted es una persona vieja para ellos. Yeah. Yes. And if they talk to you about something and you are like, what? Ah, you, oh, you're an old man. Ah, y tú eres un viejo porque no, no les comprendes el lenguaje, sí. Entonces, <laughs> si somos good conversationalists, no matter what, you're going to establish a connection with them. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. No, I'll probably I don't know about that. But if you tell me, if you teach me, if you explain it to me, I'm going to learn and I'm going to tell you my opinion. Yes, that yes. is the idea yeah. that no matter what, but you need to get engaged in that small talk. Yeah. Yes. So you yeah. break the ice. Okay. So that's okay. it. So you are okay. <laughs> Maybe Julio, you are not a good conversationalist, but you are a good listener. Because you said that you like to listen to stories. Yes? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye. Ay, Julio. Poco conversador me coloca como a bit tall. A bit? Talkative. Así como en español, talkative. Talkative. Okay, talkative. Okay. A little bit talkative. Yes. Uh, but I viendo uh, what I see in the um, picture is conversationalist. 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 Como un sinónimo de conversador los dos. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh huh. Yes. Oh, okay. If you, you, yourself, consider a good conversationalist. Yes, conversationalist. In your opinion, are you a good conversationalist or not? And say why. Give you reasons why you say, yes, I am a good conversationalist. Or no, I'm not a good conversationalist. Why not? Uh, because I'm very shy. I don't like to talk to strangers. Yeah, probably. Yes. Okay, continue. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> okay. Consider and consider myself a bit shy too. Okay. Uh, son, son similares esas dos, ¿verdad? Es algo trivial. Ah, ok. Sí, es, es algo como del de, de día a día, ¿verdad? O sea, mm -hmm. What time is it? O, o, tú ves la hora y, y de ahí resulta otro tema. Ajá, y, y así van surgiendo. Uh, very warm. Correcto. Ajá, cabal. Y ahí vas agregando más y más temas chiquitos triviales, ¿no? Mm, correcto. Entonces podría decir an informal conversation about trivial topic. About trivial topic, ok. Entonces yo te, te pregunto, you do, ¿do you consider yourself a good conversa, conversationalist? Eh, yes, I do. Why? Because... Um... Because I I consider um, a good a good how do you say okay Jesus Jesus a good it's like a how to necessity to conversa conversation with the people you try to then investigate topics. To discuss topics. Hola, hola. To discuss topics. Yeah, uh, something like that. To discuss topics. More or less, teacher. More or less. Okay. Yes. More than less. More. More than less. More than less. Más que menos. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. We have to prepare to to advance module four, teacher. Yes, that's it. So you need to be more conversationalist in class, but in English, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah. you think that you uh, completed the three questions? You discussed the three questions. Yes. Um, yes, teacher. Yes. And what about Flor Morena? Did oh, she oh, no. discuss the questions with you guys? Lord, did you give your Yes, I, I tried to oh, yeah. uh, okay, great. translate translate that, that each sentence or each question with Flor. Okay. So she had I a tried to the answers. Okay, excellent. So yes. we're going to get back to the main session room, okay? And we're going to discuss a little bit more deep. Here we go, let's return.
let's wait to for the others to return. Class, I was monitoring your groups and I, you did a pretty good job. So um, I was listening to your opinions about the definition of a small talk. What's a small talk? And uh, do you consider yourself a good conversationalist? And some of you were given a good uh, points of view. Okay, thank you. And here you were also given some. Uh, answers to the last question, why you were giving the reason why you consider yourself as a good conversationalist. But now I'm going to share something with you. Okay, so you have these definitions, yes? Uh, I would like to have one volunteer to read the uh, letter A. Hey, teacher. Okay, please. It's a social lubricant that fills the void between uncomfortable silence and a productive conversation. Thank you so much. Excellent. That is one definition. Now, another one, uh, another participant to read the letter B. Volunteer. Me, teacher. Okay, please. Okay. Small talk is a social skill. Excellent. Thank you. Now, who wants to read uh, letter C? Me. Okay, miss. It's informal, polite, and often revolves around unimportant things. Thank you, great. And letter D? Me Another teacher. volunteer, thank you so much. Please go ahead. It, it helps go. Go, go. Gauss the mood of a room and the tone of a discussion with a few brief interactions. Excellent, very well. So class, I'm going to share with you this slide, okay? So you can have it. Teacher. And uh, based on this, yes, sir. Well, what does voice mean? Voice. Yes. Voice. Voice, and the answer, uh, letter uh, A. Voice, 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 that replaces, in other words, uh, the uncomfortable situation silence to a productive conversation. This usually happens in, uh, it can be said that it usually happens, for example, if you are in a, in a training, but you are not in that training with people from your company. When you arrive and you represent your company, you are sit next to a stranger. Maybe it is your colleague, but you have never met that people. And there are people who remain in silence. So when you break the ice and you look for a productive conversation, then it is a productive small talk, yes? And sometimes what you do is that you get contacts, yeah? and you make friends. It's like a vacío. Mm -hmm. When you break it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. That's it. Remember that you don't need to be translating word by word. You need to associate the words to the ideas. Okay. 
because it is impossible to be translating, no. Otherwise, uh, if you don't know a word, you're going to be uh, like frozen and your conversation is going to stop. No, you need to continue flowing and get the ideas, yeah? Later, okay. you can go over with the uh, vocabulary. Now that I have uh, shared that set of uh, definitions, okay, for uh, small talk and also your definitions are welcomed and appreciated. I'm going to ask you, Flor Morena, are you a good conversationalist? Are you a good conversationalist? No, no, no. I don't. No, I'm not. Yeah. Are you? No, I'm, I'm not. not. Okay, yeah, I'm very good. Okay, thank you. Hazel, are you a good conversationalist? Yes, because I am a great talking and it's easy for me to go to the break in the ice. That is why you are in the position that you are. Yes, <laughs> because you know what? I think that, okay, I analyze myself and I think that I would never be a good telemarketer. <laughs> because I think that they are going to tell me, no, I don't want this. And then, oh, I'm going to start crying. So I think I'm not a good salesperson. <laughs> yeah, maybe I need to break that idea from me. Exactly. And, but, but according to your position, I bet that you are an excellent uh, conversationalist because you live from that. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Evelyn, are you a good conversationalist? No, I'm not. Okay. Why not? Are you shy? Es tímida. Yes, because I am a person of few words. You are a kind of person? A few words. What do you mean? Una persona de pocas palabras. Ah, a few words person. You are a few. Hey, that's a good expression. I am a, a few words uh, person. Oh, but you need to, you know, because if you are learning a language, you need to socialize more. And what about you, Wilbur? Are you good conversationalist? Yes, I, I am good talkative. Very talkative. Excellent. Be, be, and Miguel, because, because. okay, tell me why. Because, because I try I try to talk about any topic. Oh, excellent. That's good. You have a lot of topics to discuss with any people. Miguel Angel, what about you? <laughs> I don't know, teacher. I consider myself a bit talkative. Okay, excellent. I bet that you are. And Julio Cesar, are you a good conversationalist? Um Mm -hmm. No, I am not. No, I'm not. I'm really? You are a good listener, but you're not a good talker, a good uh, conversationalist. You are not a talkative uh, boy. Okay. No. Andrea? Andrea? Um, yes, I am good. Con I, am, I am good conversationalist. I am a good conversationalist. Thank you, Rafa. I think that Rafa is a good conversationalist too. Rafael, are you here? Rafa, knock knock. Are you here, Rafael, in this virtual world? Uh -uh. He is outer space. Le el micrófono, creo. Ah, you have problems with the microphone. I'm oh, so sorry. Okay, Rudy, are you a good uh, conversationalist? No, I am not. Why not? Because there are words that I don't know what is the pronunciation. Ah, but in English, no, but in Spanish? Uh -huh. In Spanish? Uh -huh. In Spanish, yes. Ah, okay, very well, thank you. Virginia, Virginia, are you a good conversationalist? Uh... I am very sorry, but 
uh, dining in Cozilene is different. Really? <laughs> I don't think that you, I think that you are a good conversationalist. You are kind of talkative and, and a very social person, I think, in my opinion. That is the perception that I have from you. Yeah. <laughs> because you like Paris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. And the other ones are listeners. Now let's continue. Listen to me, guys. I'm going to share a link with you, but you have it in your manual. It is a listening practice. You are going to listen to it individually, okay? And you are going to see the script. So you read and you listen at the same time. Later, I'm going to ask you some questions about that conversation, okay? It is related to small talk. So here we go. And uh, the link is exactly over here okay let me see this is what i was okay over here you have uh, the first one at page 25 if you click over here in the first link you're going to find the okay bbc uh, yes, yes 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 Okay, I'm going to share it via, in the case that you are on the phone, via Zoom and via WhatsApp, okay, for your convenience. But if you have the, the, the digital book, go over it. And you may listen it twice. It is a six minute uh, listening practice. here there you have the link listen to it turn off your microphone so there is no um, inconvenience Teacher. Yes, sir. Face no phone. Uh, I think that's hmm? I search in the face. Face no phone. What do you phone. say? There's no face. phone. What do you mean? Uh, página no encontrada. Como no. Yo la tengo en mi teléfono. La acabo de abrir via WhatsApp. Ah, okay. Okay, I try try sí. again. Ahí está. Y hacen clic en el en el in the link in the speaker uh -huh, in the speaker y ahí abajito está verdad la, la, la conversation so you have a listening and reading practice okay en la página 25 yeah the first link at page 25 y se los he compartido vía vía whatsapp y también vía zoom okay I have muted everyone. Todo mundo debe estar in mute para que no haya distorsión del audio. Okay. This is first link is okay. Tips for small talk. It is a podcast. You may listen it twice. And when you are done, you let me know because I'm going to ask you some questions.
Teacher. Yes, sir. Finished. Eh, individualmente lo íbamos a escuchar, ¿verdad? Yeah, individually. Yeah. Okay. Because it is a listening. It is an individual listening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Finished. Yes, finished. Know. Okay, great. Thank you. Class, when you finish, tell me, please. Cuando termine, uh, me avisan. I'm finished, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. But the conversation is not oh. small. Okay, it's okay, very, okay, okay. Hard. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yes. Okay, okay. we're going Holy to work. analyze it. <laughs> it is because of the accent. It is British accent. It is not American accent. Mm -hmm. That is why okay. it is individual, because you need to get used to the different pronunciation. Yeah. And that okay. is why, and, and Miguel, that is why I was telling you before that you need to get the ideas, not being translating word by word. Otherwise, you're going to be like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, ah, you probably you say, he says this, but he means this. Él dice esto, pero quiere decir esto. Yeah. And you okay. into American English. Yeah. Okay. That is why it is individual listening. But thank you. Finish teacher. Excellent. Thank you for telling me. Finish teacher. Great, Julio. Get ready for my questions. Okay. Okay, class, here we go. Let's try to analyze that small talk. As some of you were discussing in the breakout rooms, a small talk is not only about simple things. Sometimes we have small talks, but they are meaningful. When you have a knowledge about something, and for example, Miguel was saying, but teacher, this is not a small talk. This is a long talk. Why? Because they go deeper, but actually it is a, a small talk about a specific topic. Maybe uh, you felt that it was longer because of the pronunciation that is British, not American, and you are more used to American pronunciation, right? So here we go, class. I have some questions. What is the small talk about? The core, the center of the conversation, the topic, what is it in your opinion? It is about, give me ideas because you have different ideas, yeah? Let's brainstorm. What is it about? I think that they speak about the, uh, um... For example, the, the what small talk, for example, that okay, is, they talk about a small talk. What yes. else do they talk about? De qué más hablan en la conversación? It's about the babies beginning talk. Okay, the age babies begin to talk. Great. And now I have the million dollar questions for you guys. Tell me, what time, what age do children start talking? Nine months, 16 months, or 18 months, according to the conversation? 18 months. Okay, excellent, great. Why, why do they say that children start talking at 18 months? Does anybody remember? Um... Because the yes. baby say up to 10 simple words. Okay, very well. Yes. Excellent. 
And remember that when they are six months or before, sometimes they um, utter something like mom, yeah, or mom, mom, yeah. Or, and we say, uh, oh, he said mama, he said mama. And I was so very happy when my child said mama, but he was before uh, six months. And I uh, told my doctor and he said, yes, but it is a sound that comes from it is not that he is telling mama, oh, okay. And I was very sad for that reason, okay? <laughs> because uh, I was uh, happy because he had said mama instead of papa before, yeah? Okay, <laughs> but that is part of the development of the babies in the language. Now, another question class. Tell me some of the words that you remember from this conversation, okay? Somebody told me a small talk. Another one? Mm. Etiquette, social okay. skill. Etiquette, social skill, very well. Breaking the ice. Breaking the ice, very well. Private. Private or private, private. very well. Uh -huh. And remember that we were talking in the previous class about breaking the ice, yeah? And now we continue yeah. talking about it. Okay, very well. So it was an interesting practice, listening and reading practice. Imagine that you were reading the script and you were listening. Imagine only listening. Yeah, that's why it is important. So the homework is that you go over the second link, but after class or tomorrow, okay? Now let's continue. Congratulations, you did a good practice. And here we continue class. Okay, let me see. In our manual at page 25, what do we have in here? We have exercise number two, shoes, okay, or tick. Good three, only three good topics for a small talk and you're going to write an X on three that you consider inappropriate. In your opinion, you are going to discuss, okay? So uh, some people talk about location, company, job, etc. For example, you have an idea over there. Politics, common event, travel, money, buses, likes, okay? So you uh, pick three that are good topics for a small talk and three that are not good topics for small talk, okay? So I'm going to uh, transfer you to the breakout room so you discuss. It is going to be the opinion of the group that you are going to present to the class. So you discuss, well, in my opinion, this is this, this is that. But remember that all the students in the team, in the group need to give his or her opinion. Not only one person, because it is, as a result of the discussion of the group, okay? Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay, it's clear. here we go. Now let's go to the breakout rooms. I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Go to your groups, please. Miguel, your partners where? Miguel, can you uh, use your uh, Yes, I understand. Hi. <laughs> uh, uh, Wilber and I, I don't know. Rudy. Okay, I'm going to look for Rudy. Wilber. <laughs> yes. Rudy. Ah, uh, oh, you were in group number three, okay? I'm going to send you the invitation, Miguel. It is there. Rafael, who were you Okay. Uh, with, with Carlos and let me see. And Flo Freddy's. and Freddy. Freddy's. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, group number four. Here we go. I'm going to send you the invitation right now, Rafa. Okay, okay thanks. Go, please. Okay, my pleasure. Session is a poquito fuera de lugar, por ejemplo. Uh-huh. 
¿Cuál ve usted que puede ser un buen tópico? Este, bueno, usted dice que es por eh, conversaciones apropiadas y, y no apropiadas. Ok, vamos a ver. Apropiadas. Por ejemplo, la primera. Dice, la localización habla. Su, uh -huh. su que está cerca. empresa está cerca de un, de un centro comercial. comercial. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es una buena entrada sí. de, de una conversación. Ah, me la preguntan enseguida cuando me llegan los correos. <risa> <risa> Y la otra dice company. Uh, what are you some of your cuáles son una cuál sí, por ejemplo? Good, good, Rudy, good. Oh. Good job. Ya días que tenía esa duda yo. Pero me lo, <risa> lo asumía, pero no, no lo lograba. Ok. Uh... Vaya, eran tres, tres, tres buenos y tres, tres small and, and three long. All are good. <laughs> Todos son buenos, pero three is, is good yeah, for the small talk and yeah, three good. is not. Uh, consider uh, the first one the, topic the, is the three, the three topics is more uh, is is more uh, okay complicated complicated los políticos son un desastre por qué lo dice <laughs> Ese sería un tema inapropiado is topic yes ahí hay mucha tela que cortar <risa> sí, <es. risa> si gustan, marquemos como de un color eh, unos, los que son como inapropiados eh, o inapropiari, y tres con, no sé, con otro color que sean los que sí son. For me, es. Por ejemplo, la company, job, en uh, the class. Uh, teacher, how do you say in classes anteriores? Previous classes. Ah, in the previous, previous class, we view the, uh, the this topic about the responsibilities. Yes, uh, the, the famous company of uh, name Rex In. <laughs> yes. Do you remember Rex In? <laughs> Social responsibilities. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, the 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 three good topic could be on uh, on travel, for example. Uh, the topic very interesting is uh, speaking about the Tories and um, spend time in in in, in, the, in the other con. Uh, how do you say pueblo, teacher? Pueblo. Town. Oh yes. Yes, it's, and the visit the other towns and speak about the um, the travel, how to arrive in the, this town, for example, and uh, a lot of topics with speak with the people when inside in the microbus on the peak. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yes. Um. For me, it's travel, mm, politics, politics, polite. politics, ah. teachers, and nuevas ideas. Arena. I don't know. I don't know. Politics is about politicians, okay? Uh, ah, the party, the political party that you belong to, el partido político al que perteneces, all that kind of things. Ah, okay. Ah. Or about uh, politicians. Yeah, it could be some, you know, 
Uh, for me, it's a, a very a difficult. Appropriate or inappropriate? Uh, feeling uncomfortable, Fisher. Inappropriate. Okay. Inappropriate. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. And how about you, Rafa? Uh, is is no is it's a good conversation because um the people fire the you know, uh, uh, the people uh, um, that... Finish the classification, people. Yeah, you got three and three, three yes. appropriate and three inappropriate. Yeah, yes. Okay. yes. Let's go over the main session room, and maybe you have a coincidence with the other teams. Okay, okay, oh, thank okay. You. Very well done, class. Now we're going to double check and we're going to see if we have any coincidence in our opinions about the appropriate or inappropriate topics to have a small talk. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So you tell me, class, first of all, we're going to check the ones that we consider are appropriate. What about location? Is your company near the trade center? Is it good or not a good one? Mm. Uh, it's good, teacher. It's good, teacher. To break the ice. It's good for me, teacher. Mm -hmm. yes. uh, what yes. about the company job? What are some of your responsibilities at, for example, at at Promerica. Promerica. <laughs> I, I have her over here. And what is the other one I, that you were saying? People, um, okay, at your company. Is it a good, a good topic no. to, break the, to break the ice? Mm. Mm. Speak the branches. Is, is, yeah. No. Okay, and what about common events? Are you enjoying the seminar? Uh, do you feel nice here? Is it okay? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, about travels, for example, does your job require a lot of travel? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. Yeah, it will be. And what about money? Are you making good money in your job? If that's the first time, yeah? No, 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 it's inappropriate. 
it is inappropriate and besides for American and British people, it is unpolite. Es descortés okay. preguntar sobre esto. No matter if you are confident. No, no importa si ya son bien conocidos, si hay confianza, it is inappropriate. Okay. okay. So, uh, okay. what about buses? I work for a tyrant. What about you? Is it okay <laughs> to break me? I say, oh, we are oh, in the but my boss is a tyrant. <laughs> Inappropriate or appropriate? It's inappropriate. But, but many. But it's interesting. The, yeah, interesting, but not to break the ice. Yeah. Imagine that the person you are talking to is uh, very close to your boss and you don't know, or a relative. Uh -huh. So you get in trouble and you get fired. No. Now, like, do you enjoy. You are, you are fired. Things? Yeah. I think, okay, do you think yes or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Now let's go over the ones that are absolutely inappropriate. Okay. Uh, what are some of your responsibilities as Rex? Yes. It's... It is not, yeah, it is not appropriate. Politics, these politicians are a disaster. What do you Enough. think? Imagine, yeah, maybe you get fired too, yeah, because yes. no one knows if they are in there, you know, to provide some, some the funds to the company. Republican. I don't know. No, silence. Don't say that. Otherwise, we're going to be found in YouTube. Now, what about money? What about yeah, money? Yeah. Hey, yeah. If I'm I say, so hey, Julio, are you making a good money in your job? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why are you asking me that? Yeah. And we said about tyrant, your opinion about your bosses. No, never. Okay. It is a good advice not to talk about it. Okay, very well. So here we have about location, it's okay. About common events, yes. About travel, yes. About the uh, about travel, uh, yes. About likes, yeah. But about buses, no, about money, no, about politics, uh-uh. And about the, the company, no, because, you know, no, it is not so good to go so deeper. Now, class, uh, let's see another topic that is inappropriate, okay, to talk about at the beginning. What do you think? Uh, what do you think about sports? Is it appropriate mm. or inappropriate? Is is appropriate, appropriate. teacher? It's appropriate. It depends. It, generally, yeah, it's an appropriate. inappropriate because it is similar to, to politics. At the end, yes or no? People ah, okay. are extremely enthusiastic, and you get <laughs> you may get in troubles. And okay. another one. What about this one? Religion. Religion. Mm -hmm. Inappropriate. Is inappropriate. 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 Okay. Very well. I have uh, suggested two topics and we agree that they are inappropriate. Now, what are you going to do? You go over exercise number three and you think about three other good topics for small talk, but forget about these ones and about these ones, okay? They need to be extremely good topics and you have five minutes to do that. And you write them over here, one over here, another one and over here, another one, yeah? Only five minutes for this activity. Ready? Here yes. we go. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Go I to your know, group, teacher. please. Go to your groups. <laughs> Miguel, okay. you were with uh, <laughs> Miguel. You you were out and now you are back, but you were with Wilbur, right? Yes, and okay. Rudy. Yeah. And Rudy, you are in group number three. So I'm sending yes. you the invitation right now. Yeah. Okay, go to your groups. Freddy Heliseo, I need you in your group. Andrea Lisbeth, I need you in your group.
para, para usted? Mi María, ¿cuál sería uno? Mm, ella ya había puesto lo de religión allá y, y... Pero ese es inapropriado, pero tienen que ser tres temas que son apropiados. Ah, apropiados. Que okay. utilizarían para iniciar una conversación, ¿ok? Qué calor. Ya, de weather, de weather or climate, excellent, climate, ya. Ok, clima. Okay, sí, sí. Climate, excellent. Solo tres. Tres good topics. Okay. Chicas, aquí hay solo chicas, todas están activas. Porque sí. veo. Sí. Ah, ok. Sí. Fabio, los pica. Es que tengo un equipo solo con dos participantes. Y pensaba, no, pero quédense acá mejor ustedes. Ok, porque veo que hay alguien que está de oyente. Está de oyente, eh, Andrea, está en el trabajo. No, no. Ah, vaya, pues como tiene la palabrita oyente, pensé que no, no podía participar. Es que se me olvidó quitar lo de la vez pasada. Ah, perfecto. Entonces, óigame algo. Ah, Andrea Liz, al final de la clase, voy a necesitar que se quede conmigo para la sesión de 10 minutos. Ok, vaya. Sí, vaya. Para que repasemos pronunciación. I'm sorry for the interruption. Continue, please. Bye. Teacher, una pregunta. Y dígame, linda. Eh, ¿Los temas de conversación tienen que ser de sobre el trabajo o cualquier cosa? No, de whatever, but they need to be appropriate. Oh. Eh, okay. Cualquier tema, pero tienen, lo, tienen que ser apropiados, amables, corteses, ¿verdad? Porque hay algunos que son temas tabú para unas personas, para otras no son temas tabú, pero... También algunas personas se sienten como ofendidas y siempre y cuando no vaya a crear conflicto, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, bye. 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 El traffic. El traffic is a good topic. Estaba cansado. Pues, El country. El traffic. It's a common topic. Especially in San Salvador. Uh, <laughs> daily. Every day is a chaos. Uh, then the earthquake uh, suddenly uh, uh, miss room naked, you know, when the, the, then the earthquakes, yeah. yeah. With no. the tower here and the, you know. No. <laughs> yes. Really? Yes. Oh my yes. God. Do you remember the earthquake in the 2001? 2001. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's horrible. Yes, it's horrible. Yes. I remember <laughs> what. And then, and then me is. <laughs> it was no. very early in the morning. 11, maybe. Ah, the Devin. one, the first one, the first one. The first one. Yeah, first one. yeah, yeah I was in a meeting. I was in a meeting on the <laughs> on the fourth floor on, in a building. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Really. But I wow. stayed there. But some co-workers ran, and some of them got their legs, you know, hurt because they got in panic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But so continue. So, yeah, you see, you can break the ice. <laughs> Dear. And then you, sure, but, but it is your part of the speaking. Yeah, it's story. Story. It's the speaking, yeah, because you give your version, your story, your experience, yeah. It is, a story. it is a good topic in our country, at least, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Story time. Yeah. Story time. Story time. Story time. Okay. I, what I was doing when. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, teacher. Okay, story time. Um, uh, inappropriate is religion. Religion, religion. Religion. Um, and politics. Yes, politic. Um, um, uh, I don't know when the, the, the people say uh, things uh, tontas or, or incongruent. Uh, 
a las tres me puede mandar ah. para allá. El micrófono, dice. Ya va para allá. Don't worry, be happy. <risa> Miguel, hasta <risa> aquí, ¿eh? Anda de aquí, ¿eh? Voy a hablar de la gente. Ah, ¿eh? <risa> oh, talking about people. <risa> talking about people. Miguel, go to... <risa> Miguel doesn't want to be with you. <laughs> okay, bye. See you. Okay. I'm going to money. <laughs> Thanks, teacher. Uh, yeah. how, how can I say when the people speak uh, things about the uh, incongruences? Ah, uh, oh, oh, uh, you oh, may oh. say crazy things. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, yes, yes, crazy things. Yes. Yeah, crazy things. <laughs> yes, when, when, for example, with Rafael speaking something and the other person <laughs> says. I know. Uh, says uh, okay, crazy, absolutely crazy different. Things. Yeah. <laughs> yes. okay. Out of context. Out of context. Out of, out of context. Fuera de contexto. Out, out. of context. Out of ah, context. Yeah. Out of context. Oh, okay. yeah. okay. very good. Sorry. Okay, bye. Siempre nos abandonas, Miguel. He leaves you and goes to another group. Siempre le pasa lo mismo. Se tío. va y se va para otro grupo. Ay, no. Va a parar a otro grupo. <laughs> no, but he fights and he says, no, this is not my group. With Wilbur, please. Okay. okay. Y lo manda de regreso. Yeah. Ahí se, se, ahí se salió otra vez, mira. Ahí se salió otra vez, mira. Vaya yeah. a traerlo, vaya a mandarlo. ¿Qué está? <risa> Yo estaba en el otro grupo, en el 4, y me dice, no, teacher, al 3. Ok. <risa> Uy. <risa> Pero está teniendo problemas porque no se ha podido unir. Sí le está fallando el internet. Ah, ok, he's here. Now discuss with him, ok? See you. Ok. Colocado igual. Holidays. Eh... Y se puede preguntar si if the if you're going to visit in family pets um, if you have mm -hmm. por ejemplo preguntar que es if you have some cute pictures to share en el caso de las mascotas o otro tema puede ser local attractions okay excellent Hazel excellent Okay, thank you. ¿Alguien más? En Virginia. About the Willer uh, teacher. Permítame que estoy viendo acá que alguien me dice que yo no les permito que el anfitrión no permite que los participantes reactiven su micrófono, pero ustedes están hablando. Chistoso. <risa> <risa> ok, como que a todos los tengo eh, en mute. Repeat, please, miss. Eh, me repite por favor lo que eh, me decía, disculpe, que estaba acá contestándole al compañero. Eh, Se puede eh, about the weather eh, sobre el clima. About weather, yes, of, absolutely. Actually, uh -huh. that is one of the most common topics, right? Ay, qué calor. Yeah, it's going to rain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was very cold this morning, yeah? It is one of the, the topics by excellence that people use to break the ice, yeah? Okay. Let's get back and we're going to have a brainstorming, okay? Here we go.
Let's wait for 20 seconds for the others to return. Who is Oyetu? <laughs> Julio Cesar. No, 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 teacher. No, it is you. not you. No, because I, no, I am checking because of the attendance. If someone has that user, I need to rename him or her. <laughs> sure. hey, yes, sir. How do you say edad? When I, H when I ask you, uh, uh, some people, ah, yeah, ¿qué edad tiene? Yeah. O sea, H, 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 ah, H. H. Talk about H. <gasps> that is inappropriate. Because they are going to start you. Why are you asking that? Yeah, inappropriate, <laughs> absolutely. Inappropriate. Yes. And, 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 and how about with, uh, como era Rafa? The other, the other. The other topic? Your, your soul, your soul. Your soul, yeah. No, no it, the correct is, is H. It's H. H. Ah, because, okay. okay, if the topic should be H. Ace, la edad de piedra. Ace. No, Ace. <laughs> no. okay. That would be Stone Age. Stone age. age. The topic is Age. That age. is, uh -huh, that is unpolite. Eso no es cortés preguntar. Um, es una ofensa para mucha gente. Yes. Yeah. The waist, teacher. Weight. El peso. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, inappropriate. <laughs> Actually, no, you see, it is uh, something I, that is not acceptable because nowadays, according to the different countries and their laws, it is like um, an offense, yeah? No. Yeah, so you need I, to... I, I feel so fat, I feel so fat. <laughs> okay, class, so <laughs> tell me here. Uh, let's brainstorm this. Tell me one topic that you consider is appropriate. To break the ice. Um, music. Oh, yeah. Talk music. about music. Music, yeah. Another one. Uh, Hobbies, the teacher. Climate. Okay, the climate. Uh, climate. Uh, hobbies, mm -hmm. yes. Also hobbies. Do you holidays. speak in English? Uh, holidays. That would be another one, yeah. Hol uy. Holidays. Yeah, one more. Hello. Mm, movies. Talk about movies. Okay, great movies. One more. Vacation. Excuse me. Vacation. Ah, vacations. Vacations. Vacation. And the one that is uh, the same as uh, climate, that is, you know, everyday topic, traffic. Yes. Yes. Oh, Everywhere traffic. around the world. Now Get listen. stuck traffic. Yeah. Okay. So we have music, holidays, climate, movies, hobbies, vacations, and there are more. Yeah, there are more. But now mm -hmm. we're going to take turns to practice this model conversation with a partner. I need two participants to help me model this conversation. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, you begin, Carlos, and Evelyn, you continue. You are B, Evelyn. Let's begin. Okay. Excuse me. Where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending too? Yes, I am. Now switch roles. Okay. Excuse me. Where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. Okay, I want you to notice this class. Are you attending to? También vas a ir? También vas a asistir? Aquí no dice assisting, porque assist en inglés no significa asistir de ir a un lugar. Significa asistir, pero de ayudar a alguien, ¿ya? Por eso es okay. assistant, es la auxiliar, ¿sí? Quien te ayuda, pero en otras tareas, no es de ir a un lugar. Para asistir de ir a un lugar es attend, ¿ok? 
So class, I'm going to stop sharing for a while because I'm going to take your second attendance. Andrea Lisbeth. Andrea, are you here? Present. Thank you. Carlos. Here, teacher. Okay, Elizabeth Johanna. Absent today. Okay. Evelyn. Present. Flor. Present. Flor Morena Rodriguez. Present. But that is not Flor's voice. Is. <laughs> okay, Freddy's. Thank you, Freddy's. Hazel, Miss Hazel. Here. Thank you, Miss Julio Cesar. Present. Are you? Thank you. Catherine. Present. Thank you. Uh, Maria Isabel. Today she was absent. Yeah. Letty. Present teacher. Thank you. Mervyn. As a listener today. Uh, Matthew, he said he was going to be absent. Mateo. Miguel Angel. Are you here in heaven? Yes, teacher. Okay, you're always in heaven. Natalia? Yes. <laughs> Natalia is absent. Rafael? Present, teacher. Always outer space. Rudy? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Virginia? Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss Virginia. Wendy is absent. And Wilbur, Francisco Javier. Present, teacher. <laughs> okay, now, class, I need you to activate your cameras. So we're going to take the picture to confirm your attendance. Time of the picture. Yes. Nice <laughs> smile to the count of three, okay? One, two, three. Say yes. Ah, Jane. yes. <laughs> because Virginia, I know. One of you was touching the camera, and the other one, let's see which one. Okay, it was good. Yeah. Okay, great. Filter, now, class. No, no filter. <laughs> Natural. <laughs> Otherwise, okay. Forb is going to say no, but this is not the, the one that appears in the Dewey. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different person. Okay, listen. The conversation that your partners, Carlos and Evelyn, were practicing, you are going to practice it, but it is your turn to produce the language. You are going to create a shared conversation and you take one of the topics that you decided Okay, as a group that were good topics in order to start a small talk, okay? Later, you are going to present it to the class. Are you ready? Yes? Seleccion no. Seleccionan. No. Oigan, sele <laughs> ustedes van a practicar la conversación que sus compañeros leyeron. Esta, tal cual como está. No. Luego okay. seleccionan uno de estos temas... ¿Verdad? De los que en su equipo ustedes consideraron que eran buenos temas para crear un small talk y crean una conversación cortita como esta, ¿sí? Y luego la van a presentar acá en el main okay, session. Teacher. Okay, great. Here we Now I, we understand, teacher. Okay. <laughs> it's very easy. Yeah, yes. It's okay, it's okay. And Miguel, I'm going to send you the invitation again, okay? No te perdas, Miguel. Sorry. No, no me dejaba encender el, el micrófono. El teacher te tenía bloqueado. Ah, no, no. Don't blame it on me. Okay, don't blame it on me. No me echen la culpa. El Inter es el que no hay ahí. Ay, no. Ok, bye bye. Go to your groups. See you, see you. Ok, let me see. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, go to your groups. Okay.
Thank you, Fredis. We'll wait for you in group number four. I am. Okay, Ahora so you said, sí. Sí. Excuse me, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the, by the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. Okay. Alguien Maybe. más? Uh -huh. Va a practicar? Andrea and Virginia. Okay. Andrea, okay. Your conversation. Create your conversation, people. Están, Hola, perdón, ¿Están practicando la del manual o ya crearon la de ustedes? Disculpen. La del manual. manual. Ah, okay. Continue with the okay with the activity, Andrea and Virginia, and later you create yours. <laughs> Es... O escribimos la conversación primero. Digamos la, esta y de ahí hacemos la conversación nosotros. Uh -huh. Ok. Excuse me, where is the conference? It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. Bien, ahora sería yo el primero. Mm, no hay segundo. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Excuse no. me. What is the conference? Yo iniciaría. Ah, sí. It's on the second floor. Thanks. By the way, are you attending to? Yes, I am. Ok. Entonces, María, si vamos a hablar de la, del clima, nos... No, hacemos como que nos, nos vimos en la calle y nos vimos el clima y vivimos uh -huh. entonces. Ok. Bueno, ahorita. De estadio, ok. Este, yeah. ¿cómo se llama este? Cuscatlán. Cuscatlán. Stadium Cuscatlán. Stadium, Stadium Cuscatlán. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Are, are you, are you go the concert? Mm, I am not going to the concert. Don't have money. I don't have money because I don't have money. Okay. But if you invite me, I go. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> say, no, maybe. you say. Uh -huh. the, the teacher invite. The teacher invite. <laughs> no, because I don't know whose concert is that. No sé de quién es el concierto. So, I'm so sorry. Guns <laughs> and Roses. Eh, eh, oh, oh, Roses. No, I think that they are going to have, you know, a sold out with Guns N' Roses, yes? Uh, because, the... because even young people, like, teenagers like Guns N' Roses. And I was like, oh, oh my God, okay, yes. And okay. The concert <laughs> of the Mocedades, teacher? Are they coming? No, I don't think so. They don't give concerts anymore. They are really, really, I think, really elderly, yeah. <laughs> but you okay. notice the difference because Guns N' Roses have almost the same age than the other group. But depending on your, you know, on your lifestyle, you have energy or you don't, yeah. <laughs> okay, continue, please. Okay. Ah, one thing that I was to tell you, you don't say Stadium Puscatlan, you say, Cuscatlán Stadium, ¿ok? Ok. Bye. Bye. Okay. Bye. Stadium. Take advantage Cuscatlán of the Stadium. connectivity Miguel has. Eh, para aprovechen <laughs> la conectividad que tiene Miguel. Yes. Okay, bye. <laughs> Teacher, uh, can I ask you something about the, excuse me, who is the responsible to sell the tickets? 
Yes. Who okay. is the responsible for selling the tickets? Who for is responsible selling. for? Remember the structure we have been studying. Who is responsible for selling? Ah, selling ING. Yeah. Okay. okay. Ah, okay, okay. It's a mix of the gra gra grammar here. Yeah. You use the grammar in context. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. And the other uh, question, Rafa, when did yeah. you mention once? Um, let me see. Teacher, when, when I say uh, nombres, nombres propios, uh, mm -hmm. por ejemplo, ¿cómo era la frase? Where is the match? Where is the match? Is on the oh, what is the game? Oh, what is the game? Uh -huh. It is on the Cuscatlan Stadium. That's it, correct. That's it correct. Is, it is at uh, Cuscatlan Estadio Stadium. Yeah, but if you're talking about uh, football soccer, you say match. Match. Ah, yeah. okay. Match. Dice, pero si es nombre propio, no se dice Estadio Cuscatlan como tal. You may say Estadio Cuscatlán, but since the, the word stadium exists in English, uh, mm -hmm. stadium. You, what you don't change is the name of the place, Cuscatlán Stadium. Yeah. Cuscatlán Stadium. Uh huh. Uh, okay. 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 Very good, teacher. Okay. Uh, the other one, Rafa, is. is Excuse uh, me. The, where is the where is the room? Como para decir un párrafo cada uno, una línea cada uno. Mm -hmm. Are you ready, class? No. Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, one more minute because it's almost time. Okay. <laughs> it's almost time. But it's very hot. Si le, vaya, si le ponemos ahí donde dice, it's cloudy, una coma para hacer una pausa. Mm -hmm. Sería, sí. it's cloudy, but it's very hot. Mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Hello, about to finish. Yes. La, uh, la última también. Yeah, because it is almost time to say goodbye. Oh, oh my God. You didn't feel. No ya se fueron todos. No, pero ya casi es la hora de regresar. Ah, cómo no, ahorita se okay, lo terminamos. Ok, great. Ok, sí. excellent. Thank you. Ok. Usually, usually, uh, usually generalmente. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, Really? Yes. And similar. Work. Finished. Are you ready, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's return to the main session room. Okay. Okay. And get ready to practice in front of the class, okay? Okay. Justo se me desconectó. Aha, yes, of course. <laughs> Okay, in this group, who is going to present for the class? Yes? Uh, let's see. In group number three, we have Marvin, Miguel, Angel, Rudy, <laughs> and Wilbur. Okay, the two people who are going to present the conversation. Please, who are Miguel and? Eh, 
Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, we conversation teacher uh, the other topic. Okay, yes. Uh, for example, uh, the traffic. Uh -huh. uh, I asked where to Wilbur, for example, uh, wha, uh, what uh, he think about the traffic in San Salvador, for example. Yes, but ask him the question and he's going to answer to you. What do you okay. think about the traffic in San Salvador? Uh, Wilber, what do you think about the traffic in San Salvador? The traffic is horrible. <laughs> yes, it's horrible. Okay. Yeah, okay. I know, I know. <laughs> okay, thank you. Now, uh, Maria Leticia and uh, Julio. Yes. Julio. Teacher. Ok. Um, la conversación, María, llevo comienzo. Sí. Hello, María, how are you? Hello, Julio. Very well, thanks. And you, like this, like this. Well, hey, Mary. How the weather is in your city? It's cloudy. But it's very hot. Oh, let's hope it get better. Thanks, to you, Maria. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now let's see, Miss Hetzel's group. Okay. Miss uh, Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn. <laughs> No alcanzamos a, a decidir quién es en el orden que le vamos a decir. Uh, pero yo iniciaría después. No sé quién va a contestar. Yo. Ok, Andrea Lisbeth. Ok. Bijín, bijín. Y luego Hazel. Al final. Ok. Hello, girls. What do they do? Hi, Evelyn. We are talking about the water. Yes, we are commenting that it's very hot where I live. And it's raining a little bit. Where, where I live, it does rain a bit. If it already started to rain in some place. Finished it. Okay, thank you. Now, Carlos Group. Uh, okay. Um, Rafa. Come on, Carlos. Hello, hello, Rafa. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Carlos. Excuse me, what is the game? The match, the match. Ah, oh, the match, perdón. The match. It's at Cuscatlan Stadium. Thanks. But where are you attending to? Yes, I am. Thank you, teacher. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. I am too. Let's go together. Excellent. Wow. Okay. Very well, class. You did a nice job today. So you practice today listening? Reading, writing, and speaking. Yes? And also yes. you practice yes. the verbs in past tense. Thank you very much. Continue working in the platform. Miss Andrea Lisbeth, please stay with me. Andrea se queda un ratito conmigo. And for the others, have a good night and see you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye bye. Okay, Miss Andrea. Bye, Catherine. Bye, Rafa. Rafa, bye bye. Catherine. Okay, Miss Andrea. Let's see. Mm, I'm going to check. Hey, Andrea, you have to finish. You need to finish the midterm. Tiene que terminarme el examen, ¿verdad? De la semana esta dos. Sí, Andrea. 
Okay. Okay, because congratulations, you have finished section one and section two. Ahora sí vamos a mutear aquí a Rafa. Bye bye, Rafa. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Sweet dreams. Ay, pero no lo puedo. Hmm. Okay, so uh, here we go. Bye, Amis. Um, déjenme ver. El viernes, usted estuvo ausente, ¿verdad? Entonces sí. le voy a compartir lo que vimos. No sé si ya vio la clase. No, todavía no lo puedo ver. Vaya, entonces mire, el día viernes estuvimos viendo este tema. How to use simple <laughs> past sentences and yes, no question. Cómo usar las oraciones en pasado simple con, y pregunta, ¿verdad? Con yes, no questions. Recuerde que las yes, no questions tienen la característica, esas preguntas, que solo las podemos contestar de forma afirmativa o de forma negativa, ¿sí? En ese caso tenemos acá, eh, se les pide en la indicación que presten especial atención a las palabras que están remarcadas en negro, ¿sí? Ejemplo, I learned a lot. El verbo es learn, pero se le agrega ed, ya lo convertimos en pasado. Es un verbo regular. Update es un verbo regular. Para convertirlo a pasado, únicamente agregamos una d. Lo mismo sucede con exchange. Es regular, le agregamos la letra d. Es decir, a los verbos regulares les agregamos ed para convertirlos en pasado o en participio pasado. Y los que terminan en e, solo le agregamos la letra d, ¿sí? Pero exageramos un poquito en la pronunciación para establecer el pasado. Exchanged, updated, learned, ¿sí? Por eso yo les dejé como tarea que trabajaran, permítame, no, aquí está, en la página 23, que vieran el video eh, sobre la pronunciación de las terminaciones en pasado de los verbos regulares, porque tenemos eh, id, g, en t, ok, tres pronunciaciones. Luego acá eh, alguien hizo clic y me dijo, teacher, fíjese que no aparece en eh, el juego, aparece no disponible, por eso les compartí vía WhatsApp un link para que trabajaran los verbos en pasado, ¿de acuerdo? Es el de ahora. Es el de ahora, correctísimo. Por eso, bye. Entonces, viendo esto, cómo nosotros estructuramos las preguntas en pasado. Les comentaba a sus compañeros que nosotros para las preguntas en... Eh, veamos, acá. En presente simple, siempre y cuando no vaya el verbo to be u otro modal auxiliar, Vamos a utilizar do, ¿verdad? Este es el que usamos por excelencia. Este es el, este es el verbo, ¿verdad? Do. ¿Sí? Pero, ¿qué sucede con este verbo? Nosotros vamos a utilizar do con, decíamos, I, you, we y they. ¿Sí? We y they, ¿verdad? Ok. I, you, we, y they, ¿sí? ¿Y qué sucede, qué sucede con la tercera persona de singular? Como este modal auxiliar y termina en O, le agregamos e este para poderlo utilizar con he, she, it, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces decimos, does he, does she, does it. Do you, do we, do they. Sin embargo, cuando vamos a hacer preguntas en pasado simple, para todos los pronombres personales vamos a utilizar did. There's no special person for did. No hay ningún pronombre personal que sea especial para utilizar did, como en el caso del presente simple, que esto es diferente, ¿verdad? Sí, y es lo que le da dolor de cabeza a la gente. Nosotros utilizamos did con todos los pronombres personales. Ejemplo, did you go to the gym? Did you go to the gym? La respuesta corta sería, yes, I did. In negative, no, I 
didn't. ¿Sí? Esas son yes, no question. Pero, ¿qué pasa cuando damos la respuesta larga, afirmativa? Did you go to the gym? Yes, I went to the gym. Uy. Yes, sí, yo fui al gimnasio. ¿Y qué sucede cuando es negativa? No, I didn't go to the gym. Vaya, fíjese acá. ¿Qué pasa cuando la respuesta es larga? Como no estamos usando el verbo auxiliar did en la respuesta larga, el verbo lo vamos a utilizar en pasado. ¿Sí? Pero, ¿qué pasa cuando es la respuesta larga negativa? Como llevamos el verbo auxiliar did y not, el verbo va en su base. Sí, go, didn't go, lo que le da sentido o carácter de pasado a go es este verbo auxiliar. No, yo no fui al gimnasio, ¿sí? Estamos ahí. Entonces, esto es lo que le preste, quiero que le preste atención. Cuando es respuesta larga, afirmativa, el verbo cambia a pasado, porque no uh -huh. llevamos verbo auxiliar. Sin embargo, en el negativo sí lleva el verbo auxiliar, por lo tanto el verbo va en su base, ¿sí? Y como decíamos, there's no special person, no hay ninguna distinción para pronombre personal. ¿Qué tal si yo le pregunto a Lisbeth? Did, uy, did he eat pupusas? Did he eat pupusas? The short answer affirmative is, ¿cuál es la respuesta afirmativa corta? Yes, I did. No, porque le estoy preguntando por él. Did he? Did he ah. uh -huh. Entonces sería das. Das. No. Eh, la pregunta es das he pupusas. Comió el pupusas. La respuesta afirmativa es en pasado. Recuerde, estamos en pasado, no con presente. No, esto es para presente. Pero en este momento estamos trabajando pasados. Entonces sería, yes. ¿Cuál es? Yes, he. Ajá, yes, he. Yes, he did. Ah, pero esa sería respuesta corta. Yes, he did. Sí. ¿Y la negativa? No. No, he didn't. Yes, no, no he, didn't. he didn't. Ok, no, he didn't. Ahora, respuesta larga, afirmativa, yes. He, yes, he, eh, el pasado del verbo it. Ate. ate. Yes, he ate pupusas. Correct. <risa> ok, muy bien. Ahora negativa. La respuesta larga. No. No. He, he didn't. Didn't. ¿Y el verbo cómo va a ir? ¿Presente o pasado? Presente. It. Ajá, he didn't eat. ¿Por qué? Porque llevamos el auxiliar, ¿verdad? No, he didn't eat pupusas. ¿Estamos claros hasta acá? Sí, vaya muy bien. Entonces regresamos a nuestro manual. ¿Y qué nos dice el manual? Veamos acá. El manual nos dice, Luis didn't attend a seminar. Luis didn't exchange business cards. Mire cómo es negativa y respuesta larga. Llevamos didn't, attend, exchange. El verbo va en su base. Sí, es lo que le acabo de explicar. Ahora bien, ¿cómo construimos las preguntas en pasado? En lugar de do o das, escribimos did. El sujeto de la oración y el verbo va en su base. Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you make new contacts? Did Janet update the networking skills? Sí. ¿Comprendimos? Uh -huh. Muy bien. Sí. Entonces, Luego, solo en, en, el verbo va a ir en pasado solo en la respuesta larga, ¿verdad? Afirmativa. Afirmativa. Af correcto, vaya. Entonces, veamos esta práctica. Uh, complete the questions below using the verbs in parentheses. 
Ejemplo, did you attend to a seminar last month? Attend es el verbo a utilizar. Entonces, la segunda pregunta, ¿cómo la formularíamos? Si el verbo es enjoy, ¿qué escribimos primero para formular la pregunta? El did. Ok, perfect. Did. Did. You. You. Siempre sería you. Pero Ajá, sí, did. con todas. Did you. Ah, y el verbo. Did, did you. Eh, Enjoy, en su enjoy, did you enjoy the seminar? the seminar? Very well, excellent. Now, meet. Did, did you meet the people? Excellent, very well. Did you meet? Number four, learn. Did you learn? Learn. Something? Excellent. Now, network. Did you network in the, converse, in the conversation? In the convention. Did you in network? Okay. Network in the convention. Uh, business cards, exchange. Did you exchange business cards? Exchange mm -hmm. business cards, okay. Y acá ¿Qué quiero es que eso? me dé exchange, intercambiar tarjetas de presentación de negocios. Ok, uh, vamos con una respuesta negativa larga, porque con las respuestas cortas no tiene problema, ¿sí? Entonces, uh, sería no, aquí sería con I, ¿verdad? Porque le pregunto a usted y usted me dice yo. Entonces, no, I, no, I... Didn't, 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 pero como es respuesta didn't. larga, ¿cuál es el verbo? No, I, I didn't attend. Ok, no, I didn't attend to a seminar. Very well. And what about number two? Esta va a ser afirmativa. Did okay. you enjoy the seminar? Yes. Yes. I. Yes, I. Ahí es el pasado, el verbo. Ah, el very well. Enjoyed. Yes, I enjoyed the seminar. Excellent. Yes, I enjoyed the seminar. What about number three? Did you meet new people? Negative. No. Yes. No, I didn't uh, meet Meet new people. New people. Okay, very well. Did you learn something? Affirmative. Uh, yes, yes, I learned. No sé cómo es el pasado. Learned. 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 Something. Okay. Now, did you network in the convention? Negative. No, I didn't uh, network in the conversation. In the convention. Conversion. Just in the con <laughs> yes, in the convention. Now, affirmative. Did you exchange business cards? Yes. yes I no exchanged. Exchanged. Uh, business card. Business cards. Okay, and that's it. Vaya, ya ve. Esto fue lo que estuvimos trabajando, ¿sí? Y es la base con la que no me recursé. Ajá, ok, muy bien. Y ya creo que se le va a facilitar un poquito más, ¿verdad? Porque como tienen que repasar los verbos en pasado, por eso le mandé el refuerzo, ¿ok? Ok. Hágalo si no lo ha hecho y si sale con muy bajita nota, hágalo nuevamente porque la idea es que okay. practique. Ok. So, Miss, thank you so very much for giving me your time. Have a good night. Sleep well and see you tomorrow. Ok. Bye bye, Miss. Bye. See you. Bye.